Welcome back to Saltwater New. This is a look at my Red Sea Reefer 250 sump. Um, I've been running it about three weeks as of this video, maybe two weeks as of this video, but uh, it's been running four weeks now and I'm really impressed with everything I have in here and I wanted to go through it. This here first is my uh, Reef Octopus 110 Space Saver Protein Skimmer. And I'm really impressed with this protein skimmer as far as its size. It takes a ton of skim made out. It works great. It works flawlessly. I tuned it in, um, took about a day. The only downside to it is there's no um, basically relief valve or anything to like divert it to somewhere else. Uh, so once that cup gets full, it just overflows. Next, I have some Secam Pond Matrix or uh, Secam Matrix here. Uh, I have Pond Matrix, but I didn't have it in there at the time of this. I've got some copepods growing in there. And what's the little black box there? That's the uh, Santa Monica Drop 2, uh, 1.2. And as of right now, 17 days into using it, I don't have any algae growing, but that's also because my nitrates are zero and my phosphates are 0 0.3. So I'm really not expecting anything. They've told me don't expect anything from it. But right now I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it depends on what pump you're reusing. I do have to say that as far as how loud it is, but right now, very impressed with the size and how compact it is for this small sump, and I really like it. As far as, and carbon dosing as well, gives lots of air in there as well. So you can see here, I've got a little pump to run my reactor, and I've got 150 and 125 watt uh, heaters. And then this is my bulk reef supply deluxe reactor. And I used to run half carbon, half GFO in there, but right now I'm just running all carbon for the size tank. Works great, works flawlessly, haven't had any trouble. Yes, maybe I would have upgraded to the silicone fittings connection kit that they talk about on their website. But right now it's work serving the purpose. It's not taking up any room because it's hanging from a bracket. So I couldn't be happier with it as far as what it does and what it's supposed to be doing. You can see the bracket there. Next is my Innovative Marine Auto Top-Off Magnets. They work great. Uh, you can see the bag there. That's just a, I wanted to see if it would protect the magnets. Uh, they're sealed, so I'm not really too worried about them. But uh, they've worked flawlessly, especially considering how much gunk they got built up on them with the old JBJ Nano Cube. This has no problems with it. I haven't had to clean them off. Uh, I mean, I do it part of my regular maintenance, but I haven't had any trouble with it. It's worked flawlessly in this tank. So there's that. And the next is my uh, Reef Octopus Ferios 4. Um, oh, you know, other people have a little bit bigger um, return pump, but they're also running media reactors. I thought this was a perfect one for me. It's been great. I'm only running it three out of six power. I haven't had any trouble with it. Knock on wood. It's been great. Um, doesn't take up a lot of room in, in this sump as well. So I've been really could have probably gotten away with the two to be honest with you. Even running that max but the, the four has been great for me. And then you're going to come over and see some of my junk. Uh, but there's that bag I was telling you I was got that covered up. Running uh, 250 micron filter socks these are the uh, Varios, you can see I'm running at three, go up to four, um, and I also have an ice cap under there as well. Really impressed with that 3K ice cap. Couldn't be happier with it, but that's not part of the song. But uh, you're gonna see my dirty little secret here in a minute. That's coming up here, but as far as the 250, you can get everything in there if you just plan it out a little bit better. And so here's my dirty little secret. Uh, I've got all the wires, i got everything hooked up. I didn't drill into it, I used command strips. And that's been the best thing for me, is the command strips. So this pump right here, I would not necessarily recommend it. It is very, very loud. Uh, I had another pump that was adjustable. It was a, and I used that pump to run the drop 1.2. And I'm much more impressed with the adjustable pump because it's not as loud. I got the pump that you're seeing in the video from Petco. It's a great pump, but it's just a little loud for what I'm doing currently. It wasn't that bad for the JBJ. And then, um, as you can see, I'm not running my auto top-off that came with the Red Sea Reefer. 
Um, for me, I could not figure out a good way to get to the re uh, the uh, filter socks or place my probes in there or any of that stuff with how it was running with that. So I took that off and I have a five gallon uh, acrylic right next to the stand. You don't even see it because of where it's at. I would much rather run that than, than the little three gallon that was in there. Uh, that's just my personal opinion on that. But other than that, I really like my setup here and I would recommend kind of everything I have in here so far. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. Thanks.